My name's Nate and this is Heavy Pedal Garage. Guys, it's finally here. It's time to paint this car. Super excited to get this done. And guys, we are almost at a thousand subscribers. How cool would it be if Heavy Pedal Garage gets to a thousand subscribers with the posting of the paint video? So help me out guys, hit the like button, Tell your friends, share it on Facebook, whatever it takes. Let's get to a thousand so that I can monetize and put more time and money into these videos for you guys. So I appreciate each and every one of you. We're going to go ahead and jump in. And uh, I got to tell you a secret. It has been painted for a couple weeks now. So we're going to fade into a few weeks ago. It was a long day out in the garage yesterday. I got just about everything done that I wanted to do. I got the car you know, wet sanded one final time. I got it cleaned off, first initial wash, and I got it back in the garage. And I even did some masking. So I just really honed in and, and uh, got laser focus going on yesterday to try to get all that done. I was out there pretty late. I'm actually kind of sore this morning, so I'm just taking it easy, having some coffee and making some notes, looking over my paint tech sheets. This is my notes section on the important stuff I pulled out of the tech sheet. And, uh, you know, this to me helps lock it into my brain and works out pretty good. That way I can just refer to it pretty quick if I forget. In the heat of the moment, I can just glance back at my notes instead of trying to, you know, read through all of this and find what I'm looking for. So I think what I'm going to do, do a few little odds and ends, get my gun set up, get my paint table going and my paint mixed and be ready to spray this afternoon and then we'll let that set overnight and tomorrow looks like it's going to be gorgeous it's going to be a little warmer no chance of rain should be dry day so then we'll shoot clear tomorrow afternoon and then tomorrow evening we'll unmask so that's the order of operations so this is what i'm shooting your chem sparkling merlot pearl I got two gallons of it. I probably only need a gallon, but I did not want to run out. So we're just going to mix these two gallons together. Oh, that's so nice. This way we try to ensure we've got a uniform paint color. Again, it might be overkill, but that's just what I do. I'd hate to go through all the trouble when a $3 bucket could have saved me from having blemishes of two different shades. Loaded up, ready to roll. So what I'm using here is a 3M first gen paint system. It's the PPS, but these are the Spectrum refills. So they actually fit with the first gen and they work really well. Harbor Freight, I guess, it's got it going on because I love it. We'll just be able to drop the clip and reload the next one and keep on going. All right, here we go. My heart's beating, I'm loving it. Eight years of preparation for probably an hour's worth of spraying, but a lifetime of enjoyment. Thanks for that one, Rich. And don't forget, swirl the pearls.
everything went really well last night. Knock on wood. I had a lot of fun spraying this out. Pretty much went without issue. Um, you can see there's really not a lot of trash in it at all. Like, I am hard pressed to find anything that I don't think can't be buried in clear coat. So, you know, I'm going to change the filter in that furnace exhaust before I shoot the clear just to make sure I've got good air. But I came out here this morning and there was a few gnats, but they had landed in the dust on the top coat, so they blew right off. And I've got just, I don't even know if you can see it, but there's a few little pox here and there. But I think some of it will wipe off. And the other things that I found will get buried. So I got a lot of dust that's going to need wiped off, but that's okay. No problem. I was going to wipe it off before I reshoot the clear anyways. I've got a little bit of texture. You see where it's shiny over on the drinker side and has the satin seen over here. I don't think that's going to affect anything. That's from where I did a drop coat. So to get the pearls to line up, my last coat, I brought the gun out about 10, 15, inches away actually probably more than that probably more like 15 to 18 inches away and just you know dusted across everything so I think that might have been part of what's going on there body work wise these little lines are still showing up in here on either side of the spoiler I don't know if you can see them they're just slight like right through here but I think those hopefully will go away on the nose. I've got a little something right here. It's like a line. I don't know if that's a sag. There it is. A sag or a run or just body work. But it's pretty minor. But the biggest thing is somehow I missed a little scratch. It's like a gouge-ish thing. There it is. I mean, I can feel it, but that is what it is. I, uh, I'm not going to try to fix that. I can live with that. And I'm going to wipe the car down and just kind of do a good cleaning on it again. Get my clear coat ready, get it all staged and good to go. I'll wet the floors down and then kick it off. So I'm hustling here, guys, I'm trying to get this done. I blow off the car before clear. And disaster look at all that it started blowing off of that painters plastic so apparently once this stuff tacks up on the plastic I was using it does no longer stick so I stopped blowing it around breaking more off and I just remasked everything covered it all up I think we're gonna be okay I was probably getting a little too cocky about no trash, so that's what I get for ruining my mouth. But I'm going to clean it off, wipe it down really good, blow it out, blow the garage out again, and then make sure I just clean, 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 and wet the floors down really good. So we'll see how it turns out, but holy crap, I about yacked. <sighs> you guys ever run into anything like that? Just getting ready to shoot it all excited and then blah, my heart's in my stomach. But I think we're going to be okay. We shall see. Here we go. Your chem glamour clear coat. Let's see how this goes.
All right, pretty rough, pretty rough evening, but I got it done. I was out here until about 10 o'clock after all that remasking and cleaning, and I was pretty whipped, but looks pretty good. All right, we got the bumpers on. A little bit of an overcast day compared to the last footage. Kind of see how this color flops, but turned out really well, guys. I mean, I didn't get any flake that I was worried about from that uh, painter's plastic. I might have just a little piece in it right there. Not sure what that is, but maybe that'll come out. Of course, we're gonna wet sand and buff this. That was part of the plan. So a lot of what I'm seeing here isn't gonna be a problem. The texture, I mean, Spectrum Gun, Eurochem Paint, relatively new painter as far as putting down color and clear. And this stuff laid out really good. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. But as far as defects, of course, I got a smattering of dust here and there. And you know, the bugs come out when they smell that clear. Didn't have really any bug issues with the paint, but uh, bug issues in the clear. I have my tweezers and I was able to grab most of the issues. This one here deposited some of his wings into the paint. So he is now a resident of this 1975 Firebird. Not a big deal. That happened twice. Somewhere over in here, I've got another bug. But as far as sags and runs, guys, I made the mistake. I got excited. I was tired after that flake issue and all the masking I had to do. And I laid on the first coat too thick. I should have known better. I do know better. That, that first coat is a tack coat. It should have went on light. But I hammered it on and ended up with sags. This side of the car, I don't know if you'll be able to see it as kind of a minor sag that runs through here. The door is okay, mostly until you get to up here. I got a little bit of a sag right there. And then on this fender, there's some sag issues pretty minor on that the bodywork that i was worried about those lines right there gone the little sag right here gone so right here on the fenders where that gouge was you can just barely make out where it is it's not in the clear or anything like that it's not that bad it's just maybe the way the pearls laid but it's i don't care it's fine and then the other thing that's kind of bugging me a little bit is it's probably you're probably not even going to pick it up. But in the light, in the just the right conditions, it seems like even when the sun heated it up, it got a little worse. But where uh, go back and watch the the uh, hood video where I was doing fiberglass work on this. On this side, I sanded the whole thing down to get rid of those spider cracks. And I tried something different on this side. I chased the cracks. They are like lightning bolts you know, all around this uh, side of the hood. And in just the light right, I mean, I did not, you can't see them in the primer. Nowhere to be seen in the primer. But now in just the right light, you can almost see the faint outline of what I'm calling the worms. But, you know, not anything that I'm too worried about. Got good coverage. Haven't really found anywhere that I'm you know gonna be having issues when i sand and buff other than my door some of the tape gaps you know the way the the clear didn't quite cover what i scuffed so i may need to do some touch up with the little touch up brushes on the door jam edges but again really really shouldn't be too hard to sand and buff this out you know as far as trash goes the biggest pieces of trash or about like that uh every it's so texture is so minimal it doesn't even want to focus on that it's focusing on the camper in the background so ah, good stuff all right so the worst of the worst here is this bad boy there's a pretty hefty one right here it's pretty tall but again just spend a little time and love on that bad boy and it'll come out but you know, the bumpers turned out pretty good. Got those mounted. It's nice to see that on there. Oh, did you see that? Oop. 
Oh, don't want to give too much of that away because we got that in another video. We got rims and tires on here. So, yeah. Yeah, shoot, I forget what I was even saying. Oh, the bumper. <laughs> see, I see them rims and tires, and man, I get excited because this thing looks really good. Front bumper went on pretty good. Everything's lining up. But look at that color flop. All right, we'll just give it to you. There it is. Rims and tires, color flop, hazy overcast day. Good stuff. Lots more to do on this car. I've already got footage filming the uh, tires and rims. Uh, got footage of sanding and painting and doing some detail work on the smaller pieces of the car, like the spoiler. Of course, interior videos are coming. We're going to be putting glass in this thing, tint, lens tint, all kinds of stuff. This is going to be a badass machine. So, like I said before, let's get to a 1,000 subscribers, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you guys that are watching. This is really fun working on this car and making these videos for you guys. And I love getting to meet everyone, talking to people in the comments. I even got friends now that I message on uh, Facebook and Messenger. And uh, some of you guys I talk to on the phone. It's really good, good, good to have a community. So, Hit the like button, share it with your friends. Let's get to a thousand subscribers and guys, catch us next time.